I already shuffled. Excuse me, I already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the past. We'll talk about the present time coming up for the beginning of August. We'll go over what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Scorpio, in the recent past, we got the full card of the Hierophant. Now, the full card, it's about newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, they're trusting and trust forms the meaning for this card. So this is considered a, a positive card in the tarot, but there could be one thing it's going to be important for you to make time that you're sure, or make time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you look at the picture of this card, this young man, the fool card is above the word recent. The fool card is the card that's above the word past. Now he's walking, looks like he could be hiking, walking somewhere that's up high. And he's about to walk off of a cliff. Because he's got this open hearted energy and innocence of a child. He's not really paying attention to where he's going. He's just ready to take a leap. And below him is all blue water. It looks like a huge ocean. So he's about to take a big fall. Just because he's just ready, ready and gun home just to jump right into something. So trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So basically the full card is about just taking a leap. A leap of faith. So that could have been you in the recent past. Now, what is what it's paired with this is is the hierophant. Now, the hierophant it's about possibly you could have been searching for the meaning of life in the recent past. Maybe you're considered to be a great loyal friend, and when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues their intelligence and their empathy. It puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So Scorpio, this could be you or it could have been someone coming towards you in the recent past and they would have been quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity. Quite frankly, uh, this type of person is the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So it looks like in the recent past there was some situation or maybe a person or something you just was ready to just jump right into. And because it's with the Hierophant, uh, you thought it was the real deal. And it probably was. It's just showing that there was something you you were willing to just run right into, uh, take a risk, take a risk on, a risk on, just go for it. Because you felt that it was the genuine article. You thought that this person or the connection was the real deal. Now when the Hierophant talks about love and relationships, uh, and if you're asking about how your current partner is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken. So something was really true or it felt just right. It felt perfect. It felt it, there weren't any games being played. So you felt like just going for it and that's what you did in the recent past now keep in mind the recent past could have been a month ago a week ago three months ago six or more so something felt right and maybe you were dealing with someone like the Hierophant and you just wanted to take a leap you just wanted to jump right in there so that's what we got for the recent past so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for you the first week of August. Just remember the time is fluid. It could go into mid-August. It could go towards the end of August. Time and energy is fluid. And these are 
person these are not personal readings they're general readings so you have to take the situation for however it fits for you so coming up we got the queen of swords and it's with the lover's card now the queen of swords it points to a woman in your life now this woman the queen of swords is not to be trifled with she could have dark hair dark eyes it could go either way now if this is not a person that you know or not someone coming towards towards you it can point to a need for you to be really forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met so you may need to put your foot down the queen of swords it can indicate your instincts they're serving you well you already know what it is you want and need now you just have to go go after it so it's about a very very forceful energy and some people find the Queen of Swords really abrasive now it's with the lovers card which is beautiful beautiful the lovers card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins so it's possible that coming up in August you could start to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation you might start to feel like your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. So when you can choose love, that's what the lover's card is saying in the tarot. And it's saying this because it's a time when you get the lover's card that it's a time likely to bring love in capital letters, big bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. That's what this time is when you get the lover's card. So it's saying choose love. Now the lover's card, like I said, it's it's not just a it's not just a um, part it's not just a partnership it's a deep love it's a it's a union it's a falling in love it's a coming together and uh, it's the strength of two the lover's card it could be a soulmate or a twin flame so you got some kind of special wonderful love that's coming in for you Scorpio in August it could go to towards September could go into September but um, it's interesting because we got the, we got this lover's card paired with the Queen of Swords. So I'm getting a couple of storylines. You might have to cut something out or be really forceful about a person or a situation just to get this, this beautiful lover's card here. Just to get this grand love. Something you're going to have to be really forceful about. Like I said, I don't know if you're going to have to cut something out or or do something that's really harsh and bold. Maybe something, it may require you to step out of your comfort zone and be forceful about it. Something really forceful because that's what the Queen of Swords is all about. And then you get this beautiful love. Beautiful. And if you're one of those Scorpios that's, that is saying right now, oh, please stop. Love never happens to me. Oh, that's only for the birds. Okay, well, I believe what you're saying. Okay, I, I, um, I understand. I, I get what you're saying. Put it that way. If it's not a wonderful love that's coming your way, then it's some darn good opportunity. Really great opportunity you got coming in but it's going to require some type of force some type of forceful energy you might be just dealing with some forceful energy somebody that you gotta cut out maybe and then this beautiful beautiful great opportunity or some type of twin flame soulmate falling in love just comes out of nowhere it looks like so that's the present time now let's see what the challenge is going to be so we got the Knight of Cups and we got the Emperor. Now the Knight of Cups, it's a very optimistic, it's a really good card to see in a reading. It comes with messages, so someone wants to reach out. 
The Knight of Cups is, is a great, beautiful card in the tarot. It's the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going well. They're going really well. The um, Knight of Cups is about a really charged up energy, ready for action. So it's good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. So it's someone's coming in wanting to be really romantic and sensitive and it's I'm picking up it's this this is lover from the present time so that's good that's a good mix in this card the knight of cups and the lovers now it's paired with the emperor so the emperor it shows a domination over the mind over the heart is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted in fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you must think when you get this card. Because when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So I guess you're probably asking, so what does that mean? Well, let me break it down to you. The Emperor is a very interesting character. Uh, the Emperor could be a leader, a boss, somebody kind of arrogant. Um, this person does not want to come across as vulnerable. They do not want to show their emotions. Um, yeah, they don't want to come across as vulnerable and they have a hard time opening their heart. So, it looks like this person that's coming in, they got a lot of mojo for you. Um, they like you a lot, but... The challenge is going to be is that they're, they might be like this emperor. They just don't show emotion. They have a hard time opening up their heart. But they're coming in and they, they're wanting, they, they like you a lot. Um, it, like I said, it could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Maybe it's someone that you're already dealing with and they just, they have a hard time showing emotion emotions or just expressing um, just expressing like or love they just uh, they don't show no emotion that's how the emperor is point blank the emperor to be honest with you this type of person they'd rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart before they let you know <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of like closed off or it's going to feel like they are. But I'm here to tell you that um, this person has a lot of mojo for you. If you find that uh, someone you're dealing with is like that, they closed off and they don't show any emotion, and you don't know where you stand, well, that's just how they are. Yeah, they, they have a hard time opening up their heart. But they, they, this person really likes you. Uh, with the Knight of Cups here. And they're they're coming in. They want to be romantic and sensitive towards you and offer a cup of love. But you just wouldn't, you might not feel it because they don't do very well at showing emotion. So that's going to be a challenge for you, especially if you're the type that likes for your person to be more expressive or show emotion or... Uh, let you know what's inside their heart. Like I said, the emperor would rather have you die wanting to know. Point blank. <laughs> so that could be a challenge for a lot of you. Now, let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. We got the Three of Cups. And it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Cups is considered to be a card of reunions, but this is not always... Re well, this is... Put it this way, this is a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting with someone or something that you've been away 
from for a long time. Now this is considered to be a really, really happy reunion. If you can see the Three of Cups, the card is above the word outcome. These three people, they're jumping up in the air and they're toasting their champagne or wine and they're so happy they don't care. They're about to, you know, just flop into a lake or a pond or whatever that is. It's a very happy reunion. Maybe someone's been away for a long time. Very upbeat, this card. Very upbeat. It can also mean celebration your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles, which is also a beautiful card in the tarot. You could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and these are very positive new beginnings. So, you're feeling optimistic, upbeat, really hopeful about the future. Things should be going well, and you could be starting something new very soon. It could be work or or it could be personally. But either way, it's a, it's a darn good thing, the Ace of Pentacles. If you're currently committed, it rises to new and better heights. The two of you will reconnect. So, basically, the outcome, it looks like you got some new beginning or, or beautiful reconnection here. So... The Three of Cups could be a return of a long-lost love. I know a lot of you don't want to hear it. A lot of you are saying right now, please don't tell me about anyone from the past. But the Three of Cups is actually, for a large portion of this card, it's about a reunion with a long-lost love. And because it's with the Ace of Pentacles, it's saying that the two of you will reconnect. It's a coming together. Um, and if you're single and you get the Three of Cups, just a little side note for any single Scorpios out there listening. Um, the Three of Cups, the most likely interpretation of this card is that you will meet a likely love soon, someone who really fits the bill of the person you've been looking for. And this person uh, will love you just for you, just for who you are. So Three of Cups is a beautiful card. So, Scorpio, it looks like you've got someone that's returning. Somebody that's been away for a long time, and it looks like it's a beautiful thing. It could feel like it's um, coming back together in a very positive way with the Ace of Big, with the Ace of Pentacles. It feels like it's a new day, a brand new, fresh start. So. I don't see anything negative with this Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Both of these cards are beautiful. Absolutely. Now, this person that's returning, they could be this emperor here for your challenge. They might have a hard time opening up, though. They might come across as closed off, but they're excited to be with you with the Knight of Cups here. This person could be a twin flame or a soulmate because we got the lover's card here. And, um, yeah, it, this person could also be someone, well, there we go again. I was going to say this person could be someone from the recent past. Well, it, it's more than likely someone from the recent past because it looks like you are ready to jump into something. We talked about the fool card. You're ready to just take a leap towards someone and you thought the connection was the real deal with the Hierophant here. So maybe, just maybe, it's this person in the outcome and it turns out to be really beautiful. You two will celebrate and it's going to be a happy return and it, it could take off and become a very positive new beginning. And the two of you will reconnect twin flame or soulmate because we've got this beautiful lover's card here. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you coming up in August. Like I said, it could be the first week of August, but it could go, the time is fluid, it could go into August, maybe September. So I like this reading for you. I don't see anything negative. So this is really good. Um, Ace of Pentacles, a brand new day is coming. And it sounds like a positive um, connection.
maybe someone from the past. Could be recent past. Like I said, the past could have been a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. This is a general reading, so it's not personal. So just take the reading for however it fits your situation. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, I will put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys are being safe and I hope all of you are well during this virus season that we're having. Just know that um, uh, it will pass. Stay strong and take good care of yourselves. This um, challenging times that we're experiencing now, it will pass. So just hang in there. So I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So take good care of yourselves, and I really hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.